the Israeli company Elbit Systems has won a $196 million contract to produce and supply the Sabra 105mm light tank based on General Dynamics European Land Systems GDLS. Tracked platform Escod 2 and wheeled platform Pander 2. According to Elbit, the Sabra light tank series is based on a tractor wheeled platform as part of Elbit Systems' global cooperation with Tier 1 military platform manufacturers. Due to ongoing development and technology insertion, the Escot offers advanced protection and mobility, large internal volume at very compact dimensions, and a large payload at low GVW, Helbit said. The chassis provides the Escod with its mobility mine protection characteristics and acts as the interface for all other primary subsystems. The Pander offers a unique solution of wheel suspensions characterized by robust chassis components, optimum riding comfort and minimum maintenance effort, Elbit noted. All tanks will be armed with a 105mm cannon and equipped with the E-Links and Torchex systems. According to ArmorRecognition.com, the 105mm gun system is fitted with an automatic loading system with 12 rounds ready to fire. The vehicle carries a total of 36 ammunition, with 24 rounds stored in the hull. The gun can fire a wide range of NATO ammunition including Hefty, High Explosive, Hesh, High Explosive Squash Head, APFSDS, Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabot, as well as Advanced Ammunition, TMP EM110. The 105mm gun has an effective firing range of 3,600 meters with a rate of fire of 6 rounds per minute. Per the contract, Philippine Army will receive 8 tank Sabra based on Escod 2, 10 Sabra tanks based on Pander 2 1 Command Vehicle Escod 2, Armored Command Vehicle. one are based on a SCOD-2 armored recovery vehicle. In addition, Elbit is also responsible for the supply of 28 of Echo Guarani wheeled armored personnel carriers, 6x6, in the amount of $47 million. All armored personnel carriers are equipped with turrets with a 12.7mm machine gun and a 40mm grenade launcher. There is also the option of installing a remotely controlled turret with a 12.7mm machine gun. All armored personnel carriers are equipped with E-Links and Torchex systems. Philippine blog Max Defense reports that the country's military decided in early 2020 to purchase the Sabra light tank produced by Israel's Elbit Systems. However, the spread of the coronavirus epidemic is said to be preventing the final signing of the agreement. The blog estimates that the value of the first shipment is about $30 million. Elbit's competitors for the Philippine Army light tank tender were the Turkish-South Korean joint venture Hanwha Toker's K21-105 track light tank, the Arma 105 tank destroyer, and the Haramau medium tank produced by Indonesia's PT Pindad. In its original proposal, Elbit Systems offered a version of the Escod 2 medium main battle tank, MMBT, and the Pander 2 tank destroyer. Elbit used the same Odo Malara Hitfact 105mm tank turret found on the Escod 2 MMBT, but with the gun and subsystems from Elbit Systems.
Helbig also incorporated the Escod turret into the Pander II tank destroyer, all in order to meet the requirements of the Philippine Army acquisition project. Max Defense reported that at one point the Philippine Army preferred to award the project to Hanwha Toker, mainly because the venture offered not only the largest number of units relative to the price, but also assembly of some of the tanks in the Philippines. The blog said there were also various technical and regulatory reasons for the Army's preference. Following this development, Elbit Systems revised its offer and proposed the new Sabra light tank instead, abandoning the Hanwha Toker turret and developing a new turret with the assistance of the Merkava Tank Directorate and a South African turret manufacturer. The new light tank still uses a Scud 2 and Pander 2 as platforms, but now with a higher elevation arc and auto loading system compatible with those found on the K21 105, Amra 105, and Haramau, Montana. Although proving to the Philippine Army that a well-trained loader can load six rounds per minute and that a fourth crew member is more helpful and less dangerous than removing it in favor of an automatic loading system, Elbit decided to simply follow the Philippine Army requirement for three crew members, according to the report.